down to the end of the pipe here and our presentation number eight. Um, I'd like to welcome up uh, Paul Hendy from TS4 Living. So Paul is actually the co-founder of TS4 Living, um, the company behind Australia's first designed and built zero carbon house. Now Paul, um, his approach to sustainable design is a union of his European heritage and climactic knowledge and architectural education specific to the southern hemisphere. Um, he was really influenced um, by his uh, father's construction business and now he's really passionate about improving the energy efficiency and sustainability of both new and existing buildings. Um, and he's uh, creating a whole bunch of uh, climate responsive uh, homes here in South Australia. So, welcome home. Thank you, Ken. Uh, okay, that's a good slide. Um, you can spot me, that's my business partner, he has more hair. You'll always find us when we're together. We normally do a double act. Um, you only get the single one tonight, he's uh, copping out tonight somewhere. Over there, right, thank you, Brent. So, TS4, started in 2009. Uh, we've um, both passionate, coming from different angles of, of sustainable design. Brett was far more nuts and berries, some was far more sort of commercial, I suppose. Um, we put the two together. I'll give you a brief um, sort of roundup of, of Lock Hill Park. Now, South Australia is pretty advanced, really. We've done some very interesting houses as a whole. Lock Hill Park was a very interesting development. Um, some of you may know about it. Hopefully, you probably will do. Some of you won't. What we've got here is an aerial view of what was basically one of the country's leading uh, low energy, low water consumption developments that was started sort of 10, 12 years ago. It's now been finished. Uh, we've built the last house there, which is house two. House one. Actually, it's house three that gets complicated. I shan't go there, but house uh, one is the zero carbon house. So I'll very briefly introduce you to that. Um, house one, house two, they look sort of similar. Not quite sure why. Um, we design for our clients, for location, um, and we just seem to be going through a bit of a square sort of you know, building, I don't know, design at the moment, I suppose. Um, you'll also notice that um, there's no eaves. But there is lots of shading. We incorporate shading in all our buildings, and we sort of we, we look at summer solstice, winter solstice, but we also work to the region of uh, sort of around early May, uh, sorry, early March for complete shading of our buildings. Okay, now brief. We're both very similar in some ways. Um, low energy for Lock Hill Park, 7.5 star. Uh, that was the the basic uh, one of the basic urban development guidelines. We had to employ low water usage. Um, 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 appliances there as well, low energy appliances. And the same for house two. House two is actually developed for a, a retired couple moving from the hills. Now, what we can say here is, you know, we, we tailor for the environment. We design our houses to suit, like I say, our clients and, our envi and the environment they're actually in, the locations, so orientation, good thermal properties. I could, I'll repeat what everybody else has said, basically. Um, and I think you'll see some slides in here that I think uh, Sustainably House have, have stolen from us. Or we might have stolen from them, I'm not sure, actually. Somebody's acquired them somewhere. Um, house one was on a small site, so we can build houses. We don't have to have acreage. We can build houses on 220, 40, 80 square metres of land. Uh, that was a, about 145 square metre home, twice the size almost of the typical UK house of 75 square metres. Um, granted, we're not all that tall, we're quite short, so it's not so bad. Um, front elevation, lots of glass, probably slightly overglazed, I'll confess, but it was a competition house, so we had to have the, uh, the sort of the zing to it. Um, it's about 80% glass on the front. It still doesn't exceed much past about 32 degrees. Now, you're all, that's upstairs, you're going to go shock horror. Uh, when you consider that the 7.5 star houses in Lock Hill Park, some of them quite happily exceed 40, 42 degrees upstairs. That's actually quite an achievement, I suppose. Um, it goes to show that build quality, which Sustainable House has been talking about, is actually paramount to all of this. You can put as much insulation as you want to, double glazing, concrete, left, right, and centre, but if you don't put it together properly and build it well, 
you may as well just build a standard project home. So we have the luxuries there you would expect with any house. It's a contemporary house. Um, polished concrete floors. We don't, we don't tend to polish ours that highly. We tend to keep them um, reasonably matte for, for uh, solar absorption. We buy ethanol fires. Yeah, no flues. So we're not losing energy that, from that point of view. Um, timber stairs. What else can I say there? Fans of standard in all our properties anyway. Um, you can see the vent at the very top there above the, uh, the orange um, splashback. That's actually a, a large unit. It's, um, I'm going to get this wrong now, aren't I? It's, uh, I was going to say indirect evaporative, but it's not. It's, Sorry? it's an indirect evaporative cooler. Yeah, I'm the technical one as well, which is scary. Um, okay, house two, I'll move on to that one. I've only just finished that, so it's fresh in my memory. Uh, that was uh, completed only about two months ago, and the clients have been in there now for about that time. Um, the first thing they've said was, gosh, it's warm in this house. Then it's quiet in this house. And the issue, one issue they do have, similar to the zero carbon house, is they have to check their phone to find out what temperature is outside. And they now keep their raincoats close by, because quite often they go and walk outside with their raincoats on, and they say, oh, hang on a minute, it's a lot warmer than we thought, or it's a lot cooler than I thought. They just can't gauge temperature living in their house. Floor plan, built very tightly, not a particularly effective way to build, um, you could argue, because there's lots of, lots of sort of external walls. But within Lock Hill Park, you're dealing with quite strict urban development guidelines and build zones, build, uh, build areas. So that's been designed to allow a lot of northern, north is at the top of the page, uh, a lot of northern aspect into the main living areas, uh, whilst obviously still retaining street frontage, which was part of the requirement that Lock Hill Park guidelines basically dictates. And yes, you can have a very nice sort of sanctuary when you've finished a, a house. Um, the, the smart people amongst you will turn around and say, where's the shading on the windows? It hasn't been installed yet, I hasten to add. Um, there's no eaves, but there is shading to go on there, and we use a combination of different materials for that. And there's our shading. Some of it is, is um, fixed, some of it is actually uh, mobile. So the actual clients can turn around and, and adjust the house to suit. Summer and winter. Pretty obvious, really, that one, isn't it? We allow summer sun, um, or stop summer sun in the, in the summer, allow summer sun in the winter. And it's a modern, contemporary house with a void. Thermal flue. So what we've done in this house is we have motorized windows, electric windows, top and bottom, because they're a retired couple. Uh, it's a little bit easier for them to access. And also, we create, uh, basically, a, a thermal flue within, inside the house itself, and a and, um, circulation. And we're down to... 44 seconds, so I better talk. We've seen pictures like this before. Okay, um, this is one of ours, I hasten to add, not one of sustainable houses, uh, pictures. Okay, we, do, we thermal image every one of our houses. We also blow a door, every one of our houses, that is ours. Okay, that, I will say very quickly, is the typical gap, and I think Sustainable House mentioned this, uh, that you get in the standard product, project home. Uh, if you open the door by that much compared to the, our houses. We normally build to about three air changes per hour, at 50 uh, pascals. And yes, that's us getting excited by it all. <laughs> and that's it, thank you very much.